So this weekend I went on a ride out in the Forest Grove area called Maggie's Ramble. It's got an option of being either a 41 mile ride or you can cut out the slightly hilly bit in the back and make it a 36 mile ride. There's a cut through in the middle. And I'd intended, since I was, since I gave blood on Thursday and my volume was low and I wasn't feeling fabulous, I intended to take that shortcut and to not do the whole ramble. Cut out the bit in the back and keep it a relatively flat ride of about 40-ish miles. I was going to find four extra miles somewhere to bike out and back past my car or something. Just anywhere to get an extra two miles out and back. So I go along, I'm doing this ride, and Saturday was gorgeous. Now again, I gave blood on Thursday. I went riding on Saturday. Thursday I wasn't feeling terribly well and went home early from work due to low volume. And on Friday I didn't go in either. Again, feeling not terribly well. So, I'm really certain that all I want on Saturday is a nice flat ride. Also, this is the first time that I went out riding on the road in areas that I haven't ridden in before by myself. So I was a little intimidated. Anyway, so I go out, and I've, I used to live in the area out near Forest Grove, but I just didn't... I, I don't know everything out there. I haven't ridden the roads on a bike before. I've driven them, but I haven't ridden them before. So I head out. And I'm feeling great, better than great. It's a gorgeous day, it's a little bit warmer. All I've got on is knee warmers. I don't have, you know, full legs or tights or anything on, just knee warmers. And, you know, wool socks, I've got music going because I've got it, I've got my iPod pinned to the back of my helmet, which is really cool. Um, so I've got music playing, no earphones in, just music because it has an external speaker. Fabulous. I hit about 20 miles and I'm doing great. Feeling fantastic. And, I know I'm about halfway there, but I'm still, I'm feeling so great that I really don't want to take the shortcut. I want to do the whole ride. Now, there have already been a couple of misses in my cue sheet, so I've got a couple extra miles on me to begin with. So I know it's 41 miles, and that's okay, because this week was supposed to be a 40-ish mile ride. So that would put me, what, like 42, 43, maybe the most. So I'm thinking, okay. I think I can do this cut I think I can do this without the cut through and I think I can do the whole ride and do the hilly bit in the back and I'm gonna be fine. Great. So I go back, I do the whole bit, I pass a couple other teams going out, a lot of fun, enjoying myself. And then in Forest Grove there's a, a stopover at a place called Maggie's Buns. Which is why they named the ride Maggie's Ramble. So I pull over there and I'm starting to be really tired. Like not, not terribly uselessly tired. I haven't bonked yet, but I know I'm getting close and I need some more calories. So I stop in there and get the most amazing fudgy OD thing ever and some orange juice. And I down about half the fudgy thing and I drink a bunch of the orange juice and that's kind of doing it okay. I get going and at about mile 38, I'm dead. Like legs are exhausted, just dead, dead. And I did the last, what, eight miles going maybe 11 miles an hour. I was so bonked. It was just a bad end of the day. And I know that it's because I, one, didn't have enough calories. I needed, I brought some sport beans with me and I bought that thing at Maggie's Buns and that's about it. Not enough calories. And two, the fact that I gave blood on Thursday, which means I should have taken it easy on myself, and I didn't take the cut through, and I ended up doing about 46 miles, which is quite a bit longer than I'd expected. My long, I mean, that is, what, 13 miles longer than last week? Way more. So I've learned my lesson, maybe, we'll hope, um, about making sure I pack more food, and I actually eat it. I actually eat it. So I'm going to work on that. And then next week, I have plans. Next week, I'm going to be doing the worst day of the year ride, which is a Portland-supported grade. I don't have to worry. There'll be food. There'll be stuff. I don't have to pack anything except for an extra tube. And then the week after that, I'm going out with my pseudo coach, my best friend, Caitlin. And she said she had something that she wanted to take me on, and we're going to go do that. It'll be about 50-ish, and I'm looking forward to that. Next week will be somewhere in the 50-ish range, too. Worst day of the year is 40, plus commuting back and forth to the beginning of the ride on my bike from my home. And then after that, I'm going to have a training ride on Sunday because I'm helping my mom with something. So the next month-ish is pretty figured out for rides. I'm pleased with that. 
Um, rest of the weekend was very, very exhausted. I got like 10 hours of sleep last night, felt fantastic. Yesterday I went swimming, um, but only managed to do about 10 laps in the pool and then was just completely dead. We had the brilliant plan on Saturday of going to see Avatar, which is two and a half hours long, three hours long, and I was so exhausted. I didn't get to bed until almost three in the morning and I was so tired. But I managed it. I did my first ride by myself on the roads and I'm pleased, 46 miles. We're gonna be do staying in the 50-ish range for the next couple weeks. So I've got plans for working out for the rest of the week. I'm not doing aqua today because I've got a cut on my ankle. I'm gonna go do yoga tonight and then we'll just see what the rest of the week happens. And I will say hey to all of you guys again next week at the latest. Bye.